Hello, everyone. Uh, today I'm joined with uh, Nicola. Hi. Uh, hi. Can you can you tell us a bit about yourself for those that don't know you yet? Sure. Well, about Kitty, I joined Kitty just uh, two to three years ago, actually, and I mostly joined because I tried Kitty and I thought it was the most like beautiful working software I ever tried since I joined Linux. So I thought I, I want to help out, and that's what I did. But if I have to talk about myself, I also do so many different things. Like I have a channel as an example, but I also play chess, write poetry. Uh, I study mathematics. I just try to do as much as I can until I burn out. And that's a bit about myself. Truly a man of uh, renaissance, I would say. <laughs> a little bit of everything. Until I burned out. <laughs> um, I, uh, we're talking today about uh, goals as uh, the current uh, set of goals is uh, about to be uh, replaced by a new set that that process will start very soon and um, regarding the goal you are the goal champion for consistency is that correct um, when you uh, first proposed it what was the uh, what was the goal of, uh, in the years that uh, it was uh, ongoing sorry what was the um, when you started with the consistency goal, did it? Um, what, what was it about basically, and did the scope of it change in any way? Yeah, um, sorry. Between the years, the consistency goal at the beginning had this idea that uh, you should never do the same thing twice, and this was actually super broad. Let me make you a couple of examples. This applied to code, first of all. If you have two pieces of code that actually do the same thing, they should probably be abstracted away into a function or a library as a starter. But also for the UI, if you have two different elements that actually do the same thing, they should probably be abstracted away into a UI library. And then those apps, when they actually need those components, will just take that library and embed the component into them. That's usually what happens, of course, with UI design. And the, gold, um, the goal's goal was actually to make sure that it happened consistently, that the same components were used in the same, sway, same ways throughout apps. But not just that, it was also about websites. As an example, all KDE apps have some slightly different way of hosting their website. Some have like their own, some are inside of KDE, but uh, they are all in different directories of the KDE org website. So it had really a wide scope. Also different applications that do the same thing. And uh, the idea is that those applications should probably be the same, so merged together. That was the initial idea. Of course, uh, after trying that, we had to meet with reality. And that is two different applications that do the same thing often they don't do exactly the same thing and so they actually have a reason for being different. You might have two music players inside of KDE, but uh, there's actually no way to merge them together. But also for the UI, you uh, maybe you know, maybe you don't, uh, KDE has two different sets, on, sets of uh, components, that, it, that, that is uh, Qt widgets and um, QML Kurigami. And it's rather difficult to make sure that both of them follow the same exact style. So that's also something that really improved over the years. And so mostly what happened uh, in the years after selecting the consistency goal, it has changed. It has changed in the fact that it had to meet with reality. And even though most of the stuff that was initially proposed wasn't actually accepted, uh, sorry, wasn't actually acted upon and uh, fixed, we did a lot that was not in the original task, but that after some thought we realized was actually more important, such as making sure uh -huh. that Qt widgets and Kurigami have the same aspect, um, appearance, sorry. Yeah, so even though the initial scope changed, um, do you feel that the goal overall achieved its purpose? I would give... <laughs> If we wanted to like give scores out of 10, as an example, I would say seven, because there is clearly much more that could have been done, especially from me that I'm the goalkeeper. I have the responsibility to make sure that the goal goes forward. And even though a lot was achieved, and if I try to use older Kitty Plasma versions, I was like, 
how did I ever fall in love with this? Uh, nowadays, <laughs> it's much better, but still a lot more could have been done. Of course, I try to uh, excuse myself by saying, well, I I'm working also with the promotion group and visual design in other ways, so I'm a bit busy anyway, but I, I, I tried my best and I think it, uh, did went it went well. Not fantastic, but well. What would you say was the biggest achievement done within the goal? I would probably say the fact that nowadays, if you open up uh, a modern KDE app, like um, Discover as an example, I, I do think it's a modern KDE app, and you also open up, I don't know, the system tree or kickoff, even though those are different components in completely different ways to actually being implemented, Kuriga, uh, sorry, Discover is QML Kurigami, whereas Kickoff is actually SVGs. They look the same. They use the same colors, the same uh, design elements, the same typography, and that's super important. And it's something that was not done at all when I first uh, started uh, the goal. Yeah, uh, that's... I think that's great, and uh, I'm sure most of KD users uh, appreciate it, even though they might not actually notice it consciously, uh, because everything just fits, you know. Um, but on the flip side, why would you say um, you could have done better or could have gone better with the goal itself? In general, the goal was extremely poorly organized um, altogether. And if I had spent uh, two to three times the time I spent on it, I would have been able to uh, have an active chat just about consistency and then actually uh, see what was implementable for consistency and start asking people to please try to working on these things. I, I could have tried that. I did that for the first six to 12 months. And after that, I uh, realized that I wasn't actually able to keep up if at the same time I was also like doing, uh, I was working to do videos for promoting KDE and I was like redesigning the panel and adding floating panels, which is not consistency, but it's something that I really wanted to do. So that's what went wrong in my opinion. And uh, let's go back in time for a bit. Um, do you remember the moment when you learned that your goal was actually selected. How did you feel then? <laughs> yeah, I do remember. And actually, I think most people think that, I don't know, there was this uh, voting and then I, an email was sent out and there was like the consistency goal was selected and I saw the mail and was like, wow, nice. It did not go like that. So I had just like joined KDE, but not formally. I was just close to KDE. I was doing some very, very small things. And then I proposed the goal. And the announcement of the goals actually happened in Academy, which is when all of the people actually meet together uh, and talk. And there is this big talk with a lot of people watching. And uh, there was Lydia, I think. And Lydia announced that the consistency goal was selected. And immediately thereafter, he asked uh, the person that actually proposed the goal, so me, to stand up and go on stage in that specific moment to actually talk to everybody in front of everybody about the goal and i was like Whoa, that's a lot and i did not prepare anything so you can actually see the videos of academy 2019 uh, that is i think uh, of me just being on this chair in front of everybody scared <laughs> without knowing what to say so it, it went pretty well well after that i was helped a lot by lydia and everybody that's that's good to hear. Uh, you mentioned that you were, let's say, a beginner in the KDE community when the goal was selected. How has your relationship with KDE changed since then, since you become a goal champion? The uh, how my relationship with KDE changed? Uh, it changed a lot. I got involved a lot more uh, with KDE. Just to make a simple example, there's the KDE EV, which is the actual um, nonprofit organization that represents the KDE community. And now I'm a member, so I can participate in voting and uh, for the board and stuff like that. But I also do much more uh, development and I know much better stuff like how the plasma theming works. I've worked on the panel and in general widgets, applets. I try to make sure that they work and 
I already had actually back then a good relationship with the promo community. Now I'm just always looking in the promo and VDG, which is visual design chat. So I'm much more active from that point of view. And I also now have a channel about KDE. So that is completely new. So yeah, it sounds that you're, um, uh, you're a beginner uh, when the goal is selected, but now you're really involved with the community. Do you think you'd be as involved if your goal wasn't selected? Absolutely not. <laughs> No, uh, the being selected as a goalkeeper was actually a very, very good way of um, uh, onboarding people in general. And that's why I think that for the next goal, we should try to select goals that have been proposed by members that are very um, new in the community or maybe that actually created their account just to propose something. It doesn't mean that they will become part of the KD community, but it's, it's a very nice way to say, okay, we're listening to you. So, yeah. Yeah, and speaking of the upcoming uh, goals that people might uh, submit, and propose, uh, in your opinion, what makes a good goal for the KD community? The goal should be uh, A, very broad. If it's something like, uh, I think that KD Plasma theming is a mess and should be redesigned, that's not a goal because I don't know, all applications are n have nothing to do with this goal. A goal is something that applies to everything going from uh, the actual code, the UI of all apps and shells, how KDE is structured as a whole, how the website works, everything should be affected by the goal. Um, of course, there are certain goals like, I don't know, Wayland as an example, which of course are not related to the website or how KDE works, but nonetheless, actually getting things implemented in Wayland require work from all uh, KDE applications and shells. So it's very broad. It should also be very practical. If it's something like, I don't know, uh, KDE should have as its goal to make sure that everybody uses KDE. Uh, sure, that's a very nice goal, but uh, how exactly? And that's the how that you should provide when you propose a goal. Yeah, very good ideas. Um, I have a feeling that uh, at least one next goal champion is watching this right now. What tips do you have for that person for uh, either becoming the, the champion or after the selection uh, actually running the goal? Before proposing the goal or whilst proposing the goal, I would sure say try uh, to work as much as possible to make your proposal realistic and practical and detailed. If you go see the consistency, uh, the very original, my first proposal for consistency, it's very long. It's the longest goal that was proposed. And I think that helped it make it selected because people went through it and thought, okay, here we have somebody who was clearly willing to put work into this. That wasn't true, but clearly wanted to give uh, work into this and also has a very clear plan. So we should maybe try to trust them. Uh, if you just do a couple of lines saying, I think that KD Plasma should improve on touch screens and that's it, that's not going to work. Try to make all of the steps, all of the changes that you think KD has to do to get to your goal. After being selected, uh, be ready to meet with reality. <laughs> because <laughs> sadly, it's all very nice in words, but then you discover that, I mean, it's not like you're the first person realizing that KDE needs more, uh, better Wayland support, better consistency, better anything. It's just that it's actually hard to implement it. So you will need to put a lot of work into it to make sure that other developers are interested because uh, sure, you were selected as a goalkeeper. That doesn't mean that anybody should listen to you. That means that you have all the infrastructures, but you still have to convince even developers. So you need to say, okay, uh, I'm maybe a beginner, maybe uh, uh, already in the KD community. I should try to do my best to make my goal feasible. And if it's something I want to achieve, but it's impossible, uh, forget about it, maybe. Maybe it will be possible in 10 years from now, who knows. <laughs> But uh, try to focus on what you can do and try to focus on how you can convince people to do things that they can do. Very good tips. Um, 
during this year's academy, uh, um, as as was in your case, the new goals will be revealed, and at the same time, uh, all the current ones, including consistency, your goal will be uh, well not ended, just not in focus anymore. Do you plan to continue work regarding consistency in KD, or do you have other plans for, for yourself? Personally, I think I'd like to say, okay, uh, the consistency goal as we knew it is over. That's how it went. I will focus on doing the other, um, in the other areas of KD involvement that I'm in. Again, that is the promotion group or making sure that uh, the KD panel and applets work. That's what I usually do. I do not plan to make uh, huge changes or huge pushes to consistency in particular. We are already in a very good spot and what's missing is very, uh, very hard to implement. And right now I don't have the energy, uh, energy to go around and start booking people to say, hey, can you do this? Can you do that? I just want to uh, keep it simple and do what I know I can do. And I'm sure you'll be great at it. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Nicola, for having this interview and uh, also for being our uh, champion for the last couple of years. Thank you. I hope I did a nice job. <laughs> <laughs> you did, you did. Thank you. Bye. Thanks.